Oh, hello! Hello! God, the new soundtrack is... It's frankly... Frankly incredible. Uh, I haven't done anything yet, despite it saying, Start new game in existing world. I was just trying to get... OBS going. So we're gonna create a new world. And in fact, there's a built-in tutorial. I might end up doing that tutorial as well, too. Um, I used to play this game, oh, so much more. So I knew what I was doing. Uh, nowadays, I'm not so sure if that's true. <laughs> Maybe all the muscle memory is there from some of the keystrokes, but I don't need to know them anymore. We got a UI! It's 2022! So anyways, welcome to Dwarf Fortress. We're gonna build our home here. This is new dialogue. This wasn't in the game before. I'm gonna be saying that a lot today, I feel like. Uh, prepare to guide your stout charges to fortune in a world fraught with many perils. You'll begin by creating your world and watching the region's history unfold. Once this process is complete, you can prepare a group and send them out to seek wealth. <laughs> the, <laughs> the audio is discombobulating me. It's so loud. I don't even know if you can hear me over it. Wait, wait, wait. I think we need to adjust it slightly. It didn't do anything, did it? I, 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 functionally, no difference between those two volumes. It's still so loud. <laughs> Let me turn it back up for you guys a little bit. That's looking better. I don't know. I'm just gonna gonna hope so. Uh, Resident Trepos, your doings will attract attention, both wanted and unwanted. Deal with challenges as they arise, and you might one day find yourself that hum that your humble settlement has grown to become a mountain home, the center of your civilization. So if you got a mountain home in this game, you get royalty to come live with you. And then you basically, uh, you micromanage stuff for the royalty. They got, they got lots of problems. So traditionally when I played this game, I've done smaller world sizes just so world judge doesn't take too long. Uh, so we can leave it at a hundred years, which is pretty long, but it shouldn't take that long on my beefy machine here. Uh, number of civilizations. I don't think we're going to change anything. Uh, mineral occurrence being at everywhere is interesting. I wonder why that's the default. I didn't change that. Maybe they do that for your first one? It's almost like cheating, having it here. I'm going to go down to frequent, so we'll only cheat a little bit, I think. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to create world. This is completely vanilla, version 5.0. Point five zero. I don't know if that means the game is halfway done. So here we go. Uh, you can see lots of things happening. Maybe I'll read them. I don't know how much I can have. Uh, in 2022. Oh, it's going too fast. Here, let's let's pause a little. Oh, I can't even see the rest. <laughs> I was too, well. If you didn't read all of the history that happened, a bunch of stuff just happened. That's okay. It's only going to go to 100 anyway. So let's see what happened recently. Uh, in the mid-spring of 80, the elf... Ith... 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 <laughs> it's quite the name. Mute Top. It became the most sacred wicked... <laughs> the most sacred wickedness of the creed of God. So that's probably like the leader of that religion. Sounds cool. In the early summer of 86, the forgotten beast Bakhtar Whispers dreamed. The crevice, wait. The forgotten beast Bakhtar Whispers dreamed the crevice of owls. Is that the full forgotten beast name? Whispers dreams the crevice of owls. That's his full, you have to say his full title. <laughs> Bakhtar Whispers dreams the crevice of owls, of course. That's... 
That's his full name. Routed the symmetric armors at the Tower of Teeth and destroyed Work Fainted. And can you look in on any of these? Like, the colors are telling me, I'm pretty sure, um, that's goblins, if it's that. The blue must be, I don't know, other factions? But it's also using the Forgotten Beast and the elf in blue. It must just be other factions, because the humans are used. Also the dwarfs. Got me. I don't know what blue means. Maybe this is just for, like, a uh, crevice, like, proper noun, and then this is, like, a civilization. I don't remember. In 91, the human core hedge cavas construct wealthy tribute for, for the Doctrine of Lusters. Wow. Great job creating wealthy tribute. In 95, the human Uso chance practices constructed name snuggled for the Doctrine of Perplexing. And in 99, the dwarf, here we go, finally some, some lore we care about, Manam Chant Cave became the king of the pointy tongs. It's incredible. It's incredible work. Uh, let's play this world. Uh, so it generated the world, creates a save for me. Looks like you cannot yet play adventure mode in this. That's good, but it's, I guess that's bad for some people but I've never played it. If you would click Legends, um, so like some of those events I was just reading out, you could go into Legends and then there would be the whole history of the world. You could read about everything, but I think we're going to play the game. Uh, <clears throat> so first thing that, if you saw that <laughs> screen happen real quick, the game sims two weeks of time. Uh, and then you get to start. So, uh, quick start and short tutorial. Would you like your fortress located in a forested, mineral-rich region of this world? You can play through a short tutorial. Non-interactive help will be available. Whatever you decide. Whatever you decide. Oh, non-interactive help. So, I guess it's just saying there's like a wiki available, even if you decide not to do the tutorial. I kind of want to try the tutorial, just because I'm curious to see what they did. Um, and maybe it'll help refresh me. So, if you all don't want to watch a tutorial, I'm sorry but we're doing it uh oh so it's just auto embarking me it looks like that's what those other screens were it didn't give me anything uh dwarven outpost you have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your Hirsch trek has finally ended. Hirsch? That was an interesting way to say that word. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Akilolin. Akilolin. That's our king, I suppose. Akilolin. Good old Akilolin. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. So that would be hunting, farming, or fishing. You're expected a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. Uh-oh. But it is spring now, enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the cougars get hungry. A new chapter in dwarven history begins here at this place. Rigo Thurl, craft closes. Let's fucking strike the earth, baby. <clears throat> oh, here's a nice, nice camera. Uh, your view is focused on one elevation at a time. I'm getting. Uh, to move the camera around, press WASD or hold the middle mouse, drag the view. Whoa! So let's go take a look. Wow, look at these graphics. I was trying to zoom for a second there, but that's not how you zoom. Can you zoom? Is this just a view you get now? So usually you could decide how how much of the screen you wanted to see when it was the, the text-based graphics. Uh, but this is a wide new world. Uh, to change the elevation, press E or C or roll the mouse wheel so you can go up and down elevation. Wow, we're pretty high up at 48. So I guess zero would be C level, I guess. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, when your view is in the air above other tiles, you can see them below, but you can only interact with co objects on your current elevation. So, like if I zoom out, 
These are all the trees around me, but I can still see my dudes. You can't touch them, though. Uh, the view will be dark underground, so you begin mining. You can move the camera to the surface with the button highlighted. The F1 key will reset you on your way. That's the button I was already forgetting. F1. Wish I could move this tutorial a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, you can zoom in and into the plate. Okay, I can using control mouse wheel. Okay. Hey, that's the other thing I was talking about. Wow, how many different versions of the graphics did they make? Or does it... It's probably just the one, but it... Looks like they scale really well. How far can I, in can I get? This is max maximum zoom. Look at them graphics. What is this right here? K... K is usually view, is that not a thing anymore? Is K not a thing? Maybe it's just because I'm in the tutorial. Uh, it's time to get to work. Let's start by digging a stairwell into the ground. There may be plenty. Oh, it's just, I was like, is something getting highlighted on my screen? <laughs> Open mining mode, baby. Whoa, this is great. There's several ways to mine. Stairwells selected. Start of image, complete the click the surface, move the camera down level, click on the reversing your networks. So <laughs> they're doing a pretty good job of explaining things that just don't make any sense in this game. So we want a stairwell. Did they do It's interesting that it's just stair mining now. Usually you had to designate like a downstair or an upstair. I wonder if they simplified it. Um but we'll just build. I'm not even really going to look. Uh, must ban multiple. So now we can just roll the mouse wheel, baby. So let's go down, I don't know, 10 layers. Um, and then I actually want to not designate the middle floor. It does just do downstairs. Wow. Wait. How did I not... Shouldn't that D, D, D do it? Is that not canceling? Because I don't want the center. Ah, uh, here we go. X. That's what I was doing, I thought. It's probably just because it's the tutorial. So let me unpause. Let me see if I can do stuff now. No, now it's going to do all of them. I didn't want you guys to do the middle. Okay, maybe now. <laughs> Let's make a safe place to work. Select regular mining mode, go to the, to the left of stair mining mode. Oh, okay. That's so funny that it just has those stair mining modes now. This is so... Before, the way you would play would just be... I don't know, I guess I'm, I can't help myself from talking about how things used to be. Uh, back in the day, when I played Dwarf Fortress... Uh, you just you needed to know these letters. These letters just did different things. Uh, to the left, uh, dig a rectangle around big enough... Dig a rectangle underground big enough for a large stockpile and some workshops considered a smoke... Old, quite so. You're, you're old. Uh, mining through the stone layers may take longer. Yep, 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 yep. Later, you may consider making a meeting area. Otherwise, your citizens continue to gather by the wagon outside. That's all good information. Um, I don't like that they changed what button swaps the elevations. I like... I guess I can swap it now. Um, <clears throat> let's do workshops pretty close to the surface. Maybe on this layer. Can I just... It's just everything mouse now? I kind of... I kind of want to... Is there like a keyboard mode I can switch to? Like, I know how to do stuff with a keyboard, like, almost way faster than... But I don't seem to be able to use... Oh, it's probably just because I'm in... 
whatever, the tutorial. Alright, um, so let's go one, two, three, four. I mean, it's pretty easy to... I want it one, two, three, one, two, three. I actually want it to here. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we'll make a, a big, a big, nice area for us. I know, graphics, can you believe it? Uh, I want to zoom out a little bit. Haha. -ha. I made this way bigger than, no, I didn't. I did it right. I think it's just like sand here, right? I can't, I don't know where the, yeah, it's sand. So this should take like no time at all. I want my K key back so badly. Get to work, you silly dwarves. Look at my little cats running around. Do they only have to get 20 tiles? Well, you guys actually didn't need to go that deep, but I can't cancel it now. It will, it will not let me. <laughs> oh, it'll remove it. It just won't let me do this other thing. That's fine. I don't care. I just have to build a room big enough that's 20 by 20 is what I wanted. I really want overkill. What? Why did it not build stairs in these other spots? Already. So many issues. Uh... I'm going to stockpile to load them. Okay, I will, I promise I'll, I'll stockpile them when this room, let me build this room. Will you let me do the stuff I want to do? I think I'm going to have to build a staircase now there. What a pain in the ass. Oh, that was my fault because I... Y'all hearing this music? Did I spawn in zombie zone? Those are just zombie sounds sometimes now. Good. I <laughs> and now they're gonna dig out this giant room, and I can't stop them. All right. <clears throat> what if I do this? I can't see it now. I guess the tutorial was covering what I was trying to look at. Um, all right, we'll just place. <laughs> this music is very unsettling. Uh, all. It's a big all stockpile. Uh, if I'm paused, you're going to start unloading the wagon. Yep, they sure are. You might want to customize it, like refuse is a good example. Close it now by right clicking. Right clicking can always be used to close most menu as well as escape. Ah, oh, look at the stockpile menu. Oh, oh, majestic. 
Uh, with shelter underground, it's time to build. Uh, first, you'll need building materials like wood or boulders. Before you start chopping down trees, you may want to dedicate a wood stockpile. That's very true. True and based. Uh, can I say no? I want all but no wood. Like, okay, well, I, can't, I want it to be everything but wood. Oh. My mouse is chilling. Custom? Here we go. So now it's on all. And then we can just turn off wood for now. Easy. I'm a genius. No wood. None of these, none of these kinds of wood. We don't want them. I'm going the wrong way. This is my... <laughs> this is going to be something else, but everything but wood. I can name the stockpiles. This is incredible. Uh, we're going to put a wood stockpile outside. right here and then is wood <coughs> uh, haulers will also drop wood when you're ready open the wood cutting menu and designate the trunk of a tree we shall uh, so we're just going to chop down I don't know everything here I guess alright don't hurt yourself Um, and I want to do... Can I do other stuff yet? I don't think it'll let me do other things still. I'm a slave to the rules while I'm doing this tutorial. And I, I'm sorry about the zombie music. Am I in... I don't think I'm in the zombie zone. <laughs> uh... I can't even open up my citizen menu to check if there's other things. We stockpiled someone, baby. Now that you have building material, it's time to start building. Finally, we can build. Uh, workshops. If you have wood stockpile, you'll place a carpenter shop. Oh, that's smart. So if you have the material, so no haunted biome. Yes, I probably won't be doing a haunted biome my first time. And I am a coward. Both, both of those things are true. I don't know why these are lit up. Uh, we're gonna put this inside. I think I usually do it like right here. I usually put a craft toy strap. They usually have a carpenter thing in here somewhere. I don't usually know where I usually put it. I'm going to put one here, though, for now. We'll make it out of some nice mudstone. A nice mudstone... What did I build? Carpenter. Carpentry shop. Look, you can just click the workshop to build stuff now. This is insane. Uh, your industrious citizens will perform any tasks added to the workshop. Most objects that are placed, like doors and furniture, must first be built in a workshop. Furniture created work a carpenter's workshop usually takes one wood to build. Add tasks, make a bed, chop down more trees if necessary. Let's let's make a bed. We do need some beds. Uh, you probably want to build a few. Can I pick? Could I have done make make multiple bed? We'll just make one for now. That's fine. I know you can make multiple, but I didn't see it. On that menu. Build that bed. Build that bed. Great job. Now that you've built a bed, uh, let's place a bed. So, furniture category. So, build furniture. Can you still use all of the keystrokes? B, F. Oh, baby. B. And I like that you can keep building. Oh, you can keep building afterwards, and you can set up the material. 
earlier or later. It's neat. Let's go. I don't know. You all can sleep. Right. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to put the bed right here for now. Ah, beautiful work. Uh, with the bed placed, your workers will have somewhere to sleep. Well, one of them will anyway. Uh, later, you can create a room with a door and use the zones to official bedroom to each resident, which we will be doing. Uh, the rest of the interface. Oh, they've it. Oh. Oh, they've enabled my interface. You can click on creatures and items, just as you can click on buildings and get more information about them. Click on a resident to see their needs, inventory, thoughts, relations, and more. You can also get information from the citizens button. All right, who do we want to check out? Let's check out our miner. Asmel Ubitost. Miner Asmel syrup contains. <laughs> yep. That's true. Ubitost. Um, 82 years old. Wow. The overview's nuts. This used to be a giant mess of a screen. Like, the entire screen was text, and it was just... Just... just oh, my God. Like, unreadable. Unreadable stream of consciousness. Uh, overconfident. Good with language. Seeks harmony. Disdains friendship. Musical. Disdains romance. Based. Very based. Uh, they're a skilled appraiser. They're feeling satisfied, mostly, at work. That's that's good for them. Well, they have a giant cave spider sil silk dress? Look, this is no gender norms on the dress, either. Can I, can I see more about it? <laughs> Just like... <laughs> It's a giant case spider silk dress that is made from the giant case spider silk cloth. The thread is a midnight blue with dimple dye. That's incredible. So you can, uh, at any time, you could just like follow this guy around. Was or was that following the item? I could just I can follow the item for forever. I like that. I don't know if you could follow an item before. I thought you could just follow like citizens. Uh, they're fine. <clears throat> oh, you can get their description. A short, sturdy creature, fond of drink and industry. It's always there for dwarfs. Uh, he is agile and rarely sick. His very long beard is braided. I wonder how, like, I wonder if each of the sprites, if they actually went into, uh, I mean, it's pretty close. It's very, like, his long sideburns are braided. I can't. It looks like he's got braided sideburns. His very long mustache is arranged in double braids. I don't really see a braid on the mustache. And it doesn't say they have a beard. I don't think. Oh, his very long. I mean, I'm very dumb. That's the first thing it says. Uh, his hair is clean shaven. That's true. I bet. I bet these are actually. That's crazy how close these <laughs> sprites are. His lips are thick. His ears are broad. His brass eyes are slightly wide set. His nose bridge is slightly con convex. A goldenrod hair with a touch of gray. Only a touch of gray at 82. 80, 82. You're doing all right. Already becoming. Wow. What is all this? They know <laughs> you can read. <laughs> we see bushes is a poem authored by Eshten Rithabun. Example of the learning of glossing. The work has no particular subject. Very compassionate. I was really hoping I would get like the actual poem, but you just you get a distra you get a description of the poem. <laughs> oh, a qualitative dactylitic pentameter. Wow. He's pretty good. This is a... He hates he hates romance, but... I mean, he loves... He loves poetry. Pretty much everyone here is a friend. Yep, every everyone here is either a friend or a close friend. Alright, close the information sheet. I don't know, I was having a lot of fun reading the information sheet. Uh, alerts important and sometimes urgent information. Wow, you get like a big red button now. 
Uh, there have been several already. Oh no! Hover, hover over an alert icon to see the information. Left click on an alert, recentering. This is an example of an urgent alert. Okay, well you lied to me. Uh, you may need supplies before coming winter to trade with the autumn caravan. You must build a trade depot from the build menu. We need something of value to trade. Crafts are an easy way to make a lot of trade goods quickly. Make the appropriate workshop with workshop crafts. And I was particularly used to use rock. Gems can be shut at the jeweler shop. Place more value. That's pretty standard stuff. It's a lot more to learn. As you enter new menus, there'll be information and tips. The help button at the top of the screen contains guides. Click it now. And the tutorial will be concluded. Incredible. That was a pretty good, like, base tutorial. I was wondering what you were going to get from it. And it looks like there's a lot of helpful information in the game. Uh, survival planning, other foods. So I know how to do most of this stuff. So mostly it's just going to be me getting familiar with the new UI. I'm going to read this too. The game is open-ended. It can be whatever you choose. So true. If you'd like a goal, try to... If you'd like a... Dear gamers, if you'd like... If you would like a goal to your video game, uh, you could try to become a barony and then a mountain home. More likely, your dwarves will starve unless you read the first few guides here. And remember, losing is fun. That's so true. It's very true. All right, so... I am super elite, so I'm not gonna die. We, we know exactly what we're doing. I'm gonna finish uh, carving out this layer, and we are in fact gonna be making um, some crafts. That's what we're gonna start off with. We're gonna make a farm one level up. Are we on the lowest level? I didn't realize I did this on the very, hmm. And this is our only layer with, hmm. All right, well. I actually want to dig out one more layer, <clears throat> and this can be our farming area, although we don't need <laughs> quite so much space. Um, I'll let him finish, just because, I don't know, I like this box. Um, so let's do a farm plot. I don't, not gather, because it's going to be in build. Is it usually P, I want to say? No. That's as far as we're going to get. There's B. Or possibly... Oh, farming is right here. Wow. So what's the farming? So you have to go workshops, then farming. Okay. B, W, F... And now I can build farm plot. I've done it. I've done it. So uh, actually, I want to do. I want to build these stairs that didn't get built first. So I'm gonna just designate them from here. What? Do you just build them this way? Just use the mudstone close by. 18. Why do you need that many? Sure, whatever. Oh, I needed to make them into blocks first. That's why I need so many. Oh well. This is, oh, it's like, why is there a, a pick designation right here? But that's, it's literally just a copper pick. Uh, all right, I want to remove this stockpile for just a second. And I want to build farm plot. 
That should probably be enough. Oh, the bed's in the way. Is so ready to just re move you real quick? Now, usually if you hit... Here you can... Kate, here you can see every item in the fortress. Click on the category headlines to collapse and expand them. If you don't have a bookkeeper... Yeah, we do need a bookkeeper. Um... a wolverine outside and a barn owl um so <laughs> having a lot of trouble moving this i can just remove it and we'll put it back down i guess there we go <laughs> so Beautiful farm plot going. And then we're also going to need, I guess we'll have put all our food on this layer. So we're going to want still farming or still. And we also need a kitchen. So put still. Maybe on the corners, that would be cool. Right here. And then... Did they change? I feel like they changed the key commands, or I'm just really rusty. We want a kitchen as well, too. A stockpile, and I just want to put plump helmets in this bad boy. Uh, I don't want to put the prepared meals, just want plump helmets. Don't laugh. Try not to laugh. Uh, wait till that gets built. Then we can start planting. That was. Oh, it's not done. Still is up. Ah, uh, zombies. Is there like a skip track button? <laughs> Skip music track, please. Uh, all, all we want, all I want to see is plump. 90% poor soil. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I could, I could play, <laughs> I could grow plump helmets in sand. I don't want quarry bushes. Plump helmet. Great. Um, go let him finish digging out this area. Then we're going to do a craft door slayer. Uh, I need more beds, actually. So is there... I still don't see a way to... queue up. I can just do, like, add. I'll just do this. That's fine, I guess. Ah, uh, the sounds of industry. Oh, I'm paused? Why am I paused? Uh, 
Um, then I want to do... Wait, did I really do put these in unsymmetrical locations? Did I do something like that? That's, that's so cringe. Dude, this UI is insane. Uh, we'll try again with this. Uh... And then I want... Oh, did I... Is this one big stockpile? I didn't mean to do that. I want to un unstockpile. There should be a way to repaint, like cancel that. I don't know. It's way easier just to do this, I guess. Except. I'm going to make this one lump helmet. It's pretty easy to find stuff so far. You could just search as well, too, actually. That's nuts. That's nuts. You don't have to, like, painstakingly keyboard through a menu here. I really got to stop this zombie music. I need this off the playlist. Drinks. Uh, I want... Uh, what the? Oh, I can't click food then custom. Hell yeah. Why can't they turn that one on? Am I not just hitting the wrong button? Oh, okay, because I have to hit it from over here. That makes sense. So I want all the drinks here and then just prepared meals there uh, and we also gonna want to put some beds that guy's sleeping on the ground right there I mean, who doesn't want to sleep on the ground? That's not so bad. Oh, very nice pictures of Ilsa. Ilsa. Just got an excellent cat picture. Oh, I just realized these stairs only go up. <laughs> Shit. Can I build up downstairs? Oh, I, I know what I would have had to do. I could probably still do it. I wonder if I could fix it now. I'm kind of glad they changed some of the settings here. I don't know. No, digging I don't think is going to work anymore. I'm going to have to place structure. Oh, wait. Will they dig down too? That's what it looks like. It just designated. I don't know if it will or not. I think my miner is asleep. No, my miner is just, he's busy doing other stuff. So can you dig an, an up downstairs? You can dig it up downstairs out of a... That one's still an upstairs though. I don't know how good of a job they're doing. Um still in that other menu. Oh, 
I didn't place that last bet. Oh, I didn't have another one. Look at the cute little beds. Uh, wait, was this water always here? Is this expanding because of the rain right now? Which also, it's here for that this 3D weather mod. Well, it's not a mod. It's not 3D either. I don't know why I said that. Uh, we want to start digging out this layer, which it's M to mine now. I don't. Uh, and I kind of don't want the center squares here. It's just making it up, making it an upstairs. It didn't do anything. Maybe it's because the I still had them sitting there. Maybe if I remove these, can't click on them. Um, is there like a remove furniture button? that show me a little plump helmet or it's just a, oh it's a food stockpile that's awesome you can see with the little icon um, all right I don't know how to remove structures V here we go what a V no There's got to be a way to remove this. I want I just want them to go down too. Is that so much to ask? This is some classic dwarf problems. So it's designating them again, but I think it's just because I already had these platforms here, but literally not seeing a way to remove it though. Maybe if I remove. Should be removing constructions. Oh, it's removing those two. Okay, so I think it is gonna remove it now. Let's see if that fixes it. I gotta wait for him to finish doing this. <laughs> Which could take a minute. There's another pick. Do I have a lazy dwarf sitting around? There's no way I don't. Look at all these lazy, lazy men. Uh, let's get the mason uh, also to be a miner, I guess. How do I do that from here? Oh boy. Yep. We'll be in the nibbles menu in just a minute here. Here we go, miners. Work details. 
You control which workers do which tasks, and are the only way to assign certain tasks, like mining, woodcutting, hunting, and fishing. Generally, almost every task will be available for every citizen. You go with restrict both citizens and tasks. Citizen restricted from using their specialist. Restricted by using their specialization button. Tasks are restricted by setting their work details are only selected to do this. If a task does not have a default work detail, you can still create a custom work detail. To assign citizens to the task, you can set them only selected to do this if you want to restrict this. I I read it and I don't Oh, okay. I get it. So then I see. This is really neat. So this is really I'm surprised that's all that's here. They did a good job of condensing because, like, this menu, if you were looking at it on <laughs> original Dwarf Fortress, it was basically, like, the bet you had to use, like, a either in-game, it was kind of a pain, and, like, the newest tool was getting there. But most people use this thing called Dwarf Therapist, which is just, like, literally an Excel sheet. And it was daunting. I'm going to make my Mason also a miner, and then they should pick up a pick and help out. Instead of doing absolutely nothing like a chump. Oh, and I do want a general stockpile. Let's make that over here. Uh, it can be all of this, I guess, for now. And all custom. We just want to turn off the stuff that's in the other. So prepared meals drink and we want to turn off plump helmet easy peasy all right they should move that all over there other guys should start helping oh i want to turn off wood also i don't really need wood here oh, keep hitting the wrong buttons on the screen wood really going to town on this layer, I guess. All right. These guys really suck at mining. It's taking them a minute. I've already been going for an hour. It feels like I just started. My goodness. Dwarf, dwarf fortress. My word. Um, so, where did it start us? I haven't really looked around. I kind of just built straight down. We could have, like, dug into a hill and done something cool. Uh, but we didn't. Um, I want to start building some workshop. Uh, some material and replacement. We'll do a mudstone... Is craft No, I don't want a carpenter. Is that what I built? No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. We want a Kraftdorf. I don't know why I keep rolling my eyes. I'm sorry, everyone. There's something deeply wrong with me. Uh, look at it go. Our first craft dwarfs. And then I want to put a uh, mason. A uh, stone worker? That's how I make blocks, right? Yeah. Wasn't that called something else before? I'm just remembering correctly. I probably am. Bop, bop, ba da, bop, bop. Loving this UI so far. Here we 
we go. Some tunes. Some nice tunes. Nice solemn tune. Um, so, are we... Oh, we got, got no seeds. So how many plump helmets we got? Uh, just like one? Okay. <laughs> I was like, that. I feel like we should have probably grown more than one. Uh, let's go ahead and brew up, baby. Uh, empty food store. We need some barrels. So, carpentry shop. Uh, we still have one right here. Let's make some barrels. There's gotta be an easier way to do... Like, queue up more. So far I have this is what I'm this is what I'm reduced to. Oh, I could do it from the the manager menu, that's right. Is that still a thing if I hit M? No. Was it always M? Work orders menu. That's different. It used to be M I think for manager. Maybe it was always O. Uh, work orders are used to automate tasks in workshops. These work orders are said to complete a certain number of tasks. It can be going to start a condition. For instance, you can create an order to make wooden bins if you're running out of empty ones, to brew drinks if you're running low, or to make five statues every month. You can limit your work orders to a certain number of workshops. You can also create work orders at specific workshops from their building sheet. The system is reasonably powerful and eventually automate almost all your production, if you wish. Yeah, you need a manager though. Work orders, okay. But I still need a manager. What is this? Raw Brook Lamprey, do we bring that along for food? I I still not a fan of the zombie sounds. <laughs> it's probably the ambience. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like I like the ambience, but why so much zombie? Like, if there were zombies around, I'd be like, all right, that makes sense. Oh, what do we bring? Is this just... We brought a reindeer bowl? Um, I guess we can get some quick food, too, and just gather the berry, uh, berries in the area. Uh, look at our plump helmets. Oh, that was, okay. Well, you didn't get to see them grow for very long. Oh, did I not brew any? Oh, right. I needed barrels. You're making barrels, right? So how do I not have... Oh, here we go. Now I do. Yeah, just, just brew it up, baby. go for one sec I need a glass of water
Tag yourself. I'm the <laughs> dwarf brewing mushroom. It's red sand, nasty man. That doesn't look anything like lava. I can't believe you would make such an amateur error. Uh, do you want to be one of the dwarves? Which one is the one running around in the... You were brewing mushroom wine, so who is that? Uh, it was probably Olan? Was that our leader that was doing that? It's probably this guy. Urish Tastamamath. We'll see who goes back over there. Okay, they finally removed these things. Okay. Great. So I want to cancel that. Then I want to remove these things. I want, I want to remove these things. I did it once before. Finally build the up downstairs, I so covet. You better not build that just down. I designate stairs the other direction. Will they build the up, up versions of them for me? I've just bamboozled myself, I guess. Well, the downstairs were more important, if I'm being honest with myself. Um, I don't understand. digging out this. Can I just copy this? No, I gotta I gotta go designate my own workshop. Literally cannot find the craft org. Got those. Let's build some jeweler shops. Shop. I want to build a carpenter shop. I'm gonna move the. I guess I can just move the other. One. I'll just get rid of the other one. Um, I don't have anything else down here. <coughs> I guess we have a second mechanic shop here. I only need two. I'll decide what to build there later. Uh, let's start doing some more stockpile. Uh, this is rock. Stone. Uh, I could just be stone. We also want to not have stone here. Uh, and in fact, actually, this can have uh, the metal ores. For now, so we don't have a place for that yet. 
rid of the metal ores on this one. I saw. I don't know, I feel like the music could go up like several scooches. So how do I do this in this new UI? Finished goods. Custom. Uh, don't want those there. Yeah. Well, actually, I only want... Anything I don't want here? I think every. I guess I don't really want. I'm not gonna have much equipment here. It's probably fine for now. Um, and then total quality. So I want not my artifacts, just my really good. I think I want to do that, that, and that. And then. It's neat. I could copy the settings from one to another. And then no metal and just stuff I don't care about. No job. Uh, then we need a little bit of. We gotta do a gem stockpile over here. Um, guess that can be cut gems. And do another one. I probably don't need all this space for... I'll make the whole space for gems, I guess. Bop. Ba -da -ba -ba. Uh, gaming. Uh, we need a small wood pile here. Um, I wanted to take from another stockpile. I'm gonna blow away this one. Uh, stockpiles. Hope you like this. No, it won't be too much more stockpiling. <laughs> At least I hope not. Uh, one there. Uh, and then I want to get the rest of my wood inside that I have. Let's do wood for here. So this is going to be wood. purpose and then we're gonna have 
have to set this one up. So, food. Refuse stockpile too. We do not want. We do not want refuse. Uh, this can be only. What the? Metal ores. Oh, if you like search something, then at all it'll just do all the ones showing. That's neat. Uh, no wood. Is that everything? Finished goods. I don't need any stoner, oop, any stoner clay ones. We have a place for now. Uh, I don't know if I what a finished good gem looks like. So I'll hold off there for a minute. I don't remember. Uh, corpses, probably. <laughs> we don't need here either. Uh, and then let's go outside. And this is not wood anymore. This will be... Refuse. Corpses. Cor corpus. Alright, let's get to moving. Did I name all these? All purpose. Wood. Uh, oh, I like overwrote part of this stockpile, I think. Oh well. <laughs> uh, how's all our stocks doing? Whoa, Z. Oh, they changed. Z is zones now. I knew some of the uh, keystrokes were changed. Zones are areas you designate where your citizens will work, socialize, rest, or perform civilian duties. There are several kinds of zones, which you can see in the painted left. Zones are placed much like stockpiles. Unlike stockpiles, multiple zones can overlap. Certain zones, like bedrooms, can be placed uh, several at a time. Just make sure you have the correct furniture placed in all the rooms with doors or vertical entry separating each room before you begin. Easy peasy. This tutorial is nuts. People might actually, humans might actually be able to play this game. It's possible. Uh, K is my stocks menu now. Right? Yeah. Oh, I need a bookkeeper. And I need to start building rooms. So let's uh, start designating a noble's room. You don't want to do it right next to the workshop. Oh, I also wanted to get rid of. The middle stair on these bad boys. Um, for whatever reason, they seem to traverse better when that's the case. Well, it would be even better if I had things here, but I can't figure out how to build an up downstairs. It's like you can't even build an up downstairs anymore. It's not a thing anymore. Uh, stairs have never made any sense in this game. Alright, I want to go as low as I can go. Alright, here's the workshop. I'm going to be a few layers down. Uh, let's build... Um, I guess we'll do something like this. A room right here. It's kind of fun. Doesn't leave us too much room to expand, but this can hook up whatever our first dwarves. And then we can expand as we go on. Six. Let's build a little bit more grandiose rooms on the side. How do 
I de-designate? There we go. Um... I guess it could be that wide. It just looked kind of big. That's fine. We have a big old room. And they're gonna have like a private chamber behind the throne. be like a throne room, a door, and a nice little bedroom. Uh, we could expand it too if we want. It's fine for now. Let's, let's get our dwarves moving. Gonna start putting the stuff away for me. I need a bookkeeper so I can get an accurate read on my stockpiles. That would be nice. Can I follow one of my dwarves for a bit? Let's follow one of our miners. How do we do that? Did he leave? Or is he still sitting here? Uh, we're going to do a meeting hall right after we do these rooms as well, too. Here we go. Oh, he's napping. <laughs> we'll follow the napper. Uh, what a bedroom. Here we go. He's off to work. I wonder if the tutorial world it gives you can have aquifers. I hope not. Uh, dude, these graphics are so nice. Look at it. It's like a real video game. It's really quite incredible. that was. I think it was part of the music track. So it looks like it's just removing the upstair. That's what happens when I remove the middle. It just I did it at the bottom. Um, <laughs> I'm going to build some blocks. I guess let me do, let me build a door and then let me get a manager so I don't have to do all this manually. Um, so let's build a few doors. Uh, do that at the stoneworker shop. We need a lot of doors. We're going to need tables. I don't need that many tables right now, actually. Three, sure. Uh, we need a throne. Is it throne? Rock throne. Can you search throne or chair? No, you have to search throne. Fantastic. Not making it easy for scrubs. You gotta know what a throne is.
Nice. They all just got to work. I didn't even have to... So... I guess what they did, it used to be if you wanted a dwarf to do a task, you would have to directly give them that job. So, like, you, I would have had to told each of these dwarves to be a mason. But it looks like they simplified it quite a bit, so... You only have to designate certain jobs. And if I can find that menu again... Work orders? Labor. So now you only have to worry about miner, woodcutter, hunter, planter, fishing, gathering. Nobody's gathering. Oh, everybody does this, because it's set up that way right now. God, that's such a good idea. And then you can create your own work details, like your own custom... It's a lot of power. I'm gonna... It's really quite... It's really quite a nice interface. One of our dwarves is not doing so well. I like th I love this at the top. The button for stocks. Oh, neat. That's awesome. So, I feel like... Why you know soundtrack? I have soundtrack, but at the moment, it's just low? And it's just zombie sounds right now, sports ballas. I'm not sure. Uh, music kicks it every once in a while. <laughs> All you get for now is zombie, zombie ambiance. I'm not sure exactly why. Enjoy it. Uh, I think we built some doors. Last time, it's been. Oh boy. So this isn't a tile set. Well, it is a tile set, obviously, but this is like the brand new Steam release. I don't know how much you've been paying attention. Uh, so this is just like the new release of the game now it has all of this. Like a oh, okay, you're messing with me. Look, I was about to you jerk. Well, I should have known. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yeah, it is. T yeah, I guess it is technically a tile set. It is really nice looking, though. I agree. I guess I didn't build as many doors as I thought I did. Yeah. Um, so there are some things that are, I guess, a little bit different. It feels like the keybinds are different, or maybe I'm misremembering. But it really does give you a lot of a lot of new options, and some things are different. Like now, I was just going through the labor menu. Uh, this is like way easier to use, and just being able to—you only really have to like hard code some dwarves to certain tasks. Otherwise, you'd be like, ah, it doesn't matter who does it. Uh, Z axis, yeah. Um, you can go up and down. So I haven't been playing that long, but I'm super impressed already by by what you get. The CX is killing you. Like, yeah. Uh, I never I played a little bit in ASCII, but I mostly used Phoebus or one of the tile sets when I played in the past. Uh, actually, like most of my followers are from when I played Fort Fortress like ten years ago. <laughs> I used to be pretty good. I'm relearning everything right now. Thank you very much for the follow. Hopefully be playing more of this. Uh, we need a bunch of stuff right now. I need to go get beds and move them. I mean, <clears throat> I really would have paid whatever, I guess, whatever reasonable amount <laughs> Toadie asked for. But, like, I'm a huge fan of, like, the developers. Um, so I'm happy to, happy to support them to keep this going. This had to be, like, a monumental effort getting this all together. Yeah. <laughs> I turned the music up, and now it's just... It is kind of too loud. That's why I had it down. 
Um, but it doesn't have adventure mode yet. So if you're like big into adventure mode, I never really played it. That's not there yet. I know, right? A, a Steam Dwarf Fortress release. But I mean, I've also been supporting uh, the developers on Patreon for a long time now. A dollar a month for I don't know how long. So I've paid at least $30 already. <laughs> Uh, I really hope it brings a lot of new people into the game. And so far, like, uh, there's, like, the built-in tutorial was really nice. Uh, like, it really it got you started good. It, like, auto-embarks you in a place. Uh, the built-in help menu, every time you open up, like, a new menu, it's, like... See if I haven't opened up a new one. Like, Justice, you get a nice, like, overview of the menu as well, too. Which I never did Dwarven Justice almost ever, even when I was... <laughs> Quote unquote good at the game. If you have a law enforcement administrator like a sheriff or captain of the guard, witnesses of crimes will make reports which will find their way here. Certain crimes are indicative of larger problems. You should pay attention to them, and affected victims and families get upset if crimes ignored. So I'm going to leave this up here for when I read it next time. Oh, yeah, this entire thing is, is absolutely nuts, actually. <laughs> Uh, so what I was doing was getting my nobles set up. So let me do manager so I don't have to keep going back to my the frickin' shops every time. And of course, I didn't build... Um, let's go build a couple more doors. Man Manual-like. But, like, everything is pretty easy. How are we doing? I also need a bookkeeper so I can tell how much food I really have, because I don't think that's accurate. Uh, so, B. I, I think, I swear, the key bindings are changed, because I'm trying the key bindings and they appear to be different. Build chair. Uh, no, adventure mode is. You always have the legends mode, it's where you can like look at the history. Adventure mode is like the traditional roguelike where you play as one character. Uh, it's always kind of been half baked, but you like you go on quests or whatever. <laughs> It's like original roguelike, roguelike mode. I don't think many people play it. Or like, not nearly as much anyway. Alright, let me get these beds back down before they start complaining, actually. Yeah, it's always kind of just been half-baked. Like, there's, a, there's just not that much to do. At least that's how I've always felt about it. You kind of, even more so than Fortress Mode, you have to make your own fun. <laughs> All right, that guy's really upset. He probably was, <laughs> probably didn't get to sleep soon or something. Okay. So, let's make this. Who do we want to make our noble? Manager. So our expedition leader is an adequate organizer. So he gets to be our manager also. He needs a meager study. So we're going to give him this table. If I just do zones now, is that the easiest way? Office. You don't designate from the furniture anymore it looks like you just do it like that can I assign this to somebody so random people just show up or how do you get population so every once in a while you'll get a migrant wave so like dwarves from the mountain homes will show up um, you also get random adventurers if you build a tavern and I think you can recruit them as well too uh, or people can make babies all normal like Oh, here we go. We can add a person to it. That's awesome. Wow, that, that was easy. All right. So we want another zone, and I want to 
bedroom. And that'll be for our same lad. All right, how how you feeling, bud? He's 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 loving it. That's the only thing he wants. Stone baby crafting, exactly. <laughs> All right, so need a few more doors. So now we can just do it from our manager menu. Is it just doors? Yeah, there's other fantasy species as well too. Uh, you could trade with the humans and the elves, and then you'll get invaded by goblins, and then there's tons of, like, let's see what's around right now, actually. You go to citizen menu, go to others, so <laughs> there's a giant weasel. Look at him vibing. Look at him. What else we got? Uh, some giant chickmunks. I don't know why there's just giant animals around, but that's nice. We also brought quite a few animals. These cats uninterested in owners. It actually, <laughs> cats actually adopt dwarfs in this game. Uh, have you played RimWorld? Yeah, I have played RimWorld a little bit. I'm much more familiar with Dwarf Fortress, and I only really learned... Oh, holy crap. I just realized... Talk about a migrant wave. Look at how many people are here. Uh, they're both really good. Um, uh, I mean, you could do justice. Like, I was going to say, like, RimWorld's, like, more messed up or, like, <laughs> fucked up. But you could do, like, plenty of stuff. If you were to buy just one, which would you recommend? If you could only buy one of them... I mean, yeah, you could do some some cruel, cruel things in this game if you want. <laughs> the same way you can in RimWorld. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to recommend. I don't really like... The only thing I don't like about RimWorld is I hate the art, but I understand why they did what they did. Um, I like Dwarf Fortress more, just personally. I would say whatever. If you like sci-fi more, I guess RimWorld. If you're into, like, high fantasy, I guess Dwarf Fortress, but... <laughs> I don't know how, I, how well I can say this is competent as a release yet. So far, it's pretty impressive, though, as far as, like, it being a video game. I can recommend to people to play without... Here's a three-hour tutorial on how to play this game. Memorize these 60 keystrokes. So that's not a thing anymore. That's nice. Uh, oh, we also need... Um bookkeeper probably just do oh we have a new guy urish tustmameth all right you're gonna be the other quote-unquote noble i suppose then uh we need a door did we build doors yet <laughs> have i just been yapping and not building doors oh we got one uh let's build a table right here for urish oh i canceled it Would you recommend Dwarf Fortress to witches or even hags? Hmm. Uh, yes. Yes, I would. Let me tell you why I think that. I think you can make potions? There's, wait, there's mushrooms. Hags like mushrooms, right? You can grow plump helmet. So that's, if you, you since you can grow purple mushroom, that's pretty haggy. I give it. I give it a hag out of 10. Uh, we did not... What is this guy upset about? Wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I yelled at somebody in charge. That was satisfying. So true. So true. R <laughs> Risen Raskareth. They're having a meeting in, in the expedition leader's bedroom, but he's presumably in bed. <laughs> Uh, he felt satisfied with yelling at somebody in charge. He was dejected when caught in the rain. He felt satisfied when discussing his problems with an acquaintance. And he felt fondness talking with... Is this the same person, or did he talk to somebody beforehand? I guess I'll get DF because Rimmer has a lot of DLC. DF doesn't, so be cheaper or as full as fully featured. Um, there's, like, no end to the content in Dwarf Fortress, really. And there's only going to be more mods coming out. Yeah, there'll never be, like... I don't think there'll ever be DLC the way RimWorld has it. 
Um, hey, if you don't like it, you can always return a game after two hours on Steam. What a feature. Uh, I'm not paid by Gabe Duol. Um Let me... I need to do another zone here. And this will be our buddy's zone. Another office. Gosh, I love these zones. Uh, we'll add our buddy Urish. Uh, did we add him yet? No. Here you go, bud. What is this? Oh, okay. Your bookkeeper all counts accurate. You better. You better keep all them counts accurate. Another zone. Is your bedroom? And our buddy Urish. I wish it just named the bedroom Urish Bedroom. If I did it. He is napping and they're still having a meeting, I suppose. Uh, we still need some more doors, I notice. We're we're lacking a little bit on door. One, two, let's just build a bunch. So <laughs> Is it work orders? That's it. No work orders. We want a rock door. I want Tian. No. Oh, you can pick how many shops you want it to max out at. Wow. Oh, it started at 10. That's fantastic. It knew what I wanted. We're good to go. Have to get a few errands. I'll try to be right back with staying the stream. Hope you're still going strong when I get back. Well, thanks for hanging out, sports, and maybe I'll see you later. Right, I want to block off the center of this now. So I also want to make some rock blocks. What is this button? Oh, it's a priority. Uh, we probably want to build like a wall eventually as well too, around like our fort. That seems like a good idea. I wish I could customize the audio so I could just always have some guitar going. Why are you all upset? What are you all upset about? Oh, you're all hanging out in the rain. <laughs> Go inside. Oh, it's because I have the meeting zone out here. So I actually need to build... <laughs> Uh, a meeting hall for them to hang out at. So let's not put it right next to there. Not right next to there. This is the perfect one. This is the floor. We built the zone. Um, oops, that's fine. Now we got guitar. I love it. Um, actually, I just want to funnel them onto one side. Let's do this. How big do we want to go? Bigger than this, I think. Um, I thought, no. I think they need more space. We'll go big. I want to put like, no, that's fine. We'll do something like this. And I want some statues. We need statues in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least. We'll just make 10. That's fine. We also want a lot of crafts. <clears throat> so we'll start get going on some crafts. I did not mean... <laughs> Assemble adamantine ballista arrow. Something tells me that's not going to get completed. Um, oh, I could just pick the number. 100 rack craft. So that should keep them busy for a bit. Oh, I just have so many new dwarfs, too. Are any of you good at crafting? I forgot I already got a migrant wave. It means I need more beds and more bedrooms. How many people we got? We got so many so quickly. 
Am I dumb? Oh, now we have a total accurate count, too. Um, okay, 16 population. So, wow. Give us a nine. We're dwarves. Um, two of them are kids, though. Hmm. Uh, there is a craft dwarf, but he was one of our originals. I don't think there's a craft dwarf in the other guys. Uh, they're all get they'll all get to going. They'll all they'll all find their way. Um, I need some beds. I did say that and didn't build any. So bed. Uh, pardon. <laughs> build some beds. Uh, here we go. What is this? Jesper Cluster. How many? Probably starting to get going on. Uh, how many gems we got? Our crafts? Oh, I'm zooming the wrong way. All right. Look at all of the Jaspers and Opals. Oh, I meant to make this a rock stockpile too. I guess that never happened. This is just eventually get, uh, I'm going to need more tables and chairs for my meeting room. Easy. It's an easy game now that I have a manager. all pissed off that they were in the rain look you, you guys did it to yourself okay oh we need some more barrels probably too i need to I keep forgetting i need to click into this search menu before i start typing or it don't work all right i got some rock blocks also so Put wall. Can I go down layer with the wall? No. No, I did that wrong. really wish I could designate up downstair. All right, what if I start, if I start up here, and then I go down to there, is it gonna give me an up downstair? It looks like it. That's what it's showing me anyway. It'd be really exciting. Yes! We got the up downstair. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, it's definitely better than it used to be, but that was still, <laughs> still gonna be frustrating for some people. All right, so those build construction stair, and then we just need to make sure we designate on either side so it builds an up down. Do any more blocks? Yeah. And then we probably want more blocks. You love rock blocks. I already have her. Oh no, it's still going. Got plenty of rock blocks coming. Nice, looking good. Oh, we need some hatch covers. Uh, yeah, 10's fine, whatever. 
The poor crow. Got killed by a burb or a cat, probably, I would assume. Oh, look. <laughs> Was he thinking about her? She felt love remembering talking with father. She didn't feel anything due to inebriation. <laughs> she was annoyed when Connor. There's nothing like a good brawl. This is a little kid. Wait, what? Disdains eloquence. High stamina. Disdains stoicism. Wow, this kid, this kid rules. Except they're, they're sickly, unfortunately. Feels like I'm watching a master work at their craft, but the craft to me is incomprehensible. <laughs> uh, so right now, I guess I'll talk about a little bit about what I'm doing then, Nasty Man. That's a good point. So here's, so I don't know if you, so like if I'm like scrolling around, you can see the elevation changing. So this is like layers of flat earth. So just like real life, uh, the earth is flat and you can you can view different layers by zooming in and out on your mouse wheel. Um, so this is my wagon, which I'm eventually, I'm about to destroy. So this is just where my dwarves hung out and then I've dug into the earth. Here's where I've built my farming layer so far. So I've got my nice plump helmets growing. So those nice purple mushrooms. And then I had a kitchen. Anybody know what happened to my kitchen? <laughs> Uh, I guess mistakes were made with my kitchen, so... How do I repaint? How do I get rid of the stockpile? <laughs> I'll just get rid of it. Do I even need it anymore? Oh, I'll put the wood stockpile over here. This nice big space I have. How about... That's right. We're back to stockpiling. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. You want to do something? Stockpile. Um, I need my kitchen now. Uh, we'll build that back up again. Why not? have a nice kitchen right here. I don't know when I lost it. Uh, to continue the tour and then we have our crafting layer so I put some rocks that we've been gathering we got you know dolomite mudstone bit bitumous coal you know perfect for the kids uh, and then so there's these masonry shops so right now I queued up a bunch of stuff uh, from that other menu so now I could just say hey I want you guys to do stuff and then I don't have to really worry about what the dwarves do they just they go about their business doing that, whatever I tell them. Uh, so they're making stuff for me, uh, some of which is crafts up here. And eventually, and you can see it filling up up here. Eventually, I'm going to make some nice crafts. And in fact, actually, I need to cut some gems. Let's queue that work order up. Uh, I just want you guys to do this forever, really. Give me 100 cut gems. <clears throat> uh, so they're going to start cutting gems now, too. And then eventually I'm going to put the gems on the crafts. Then I'm going to sell them to the humans and the elves that come by and get some cool shit. And then after I have all... I don't, I don't have a bunch of resources. And really, it's... I don't know. It's whatever I want to do. Oh, we just hit a new season, I think. Or is it? No, it's monthly. No, it does say early autumn, so I think we are in fall now. So I think it is saving every season. So we've squandered away our spring. Actually, I don't know. Did we finish our meeting hall? We're almost done with our meeting hall. <laughs> People still standing out in the rain an entire season. That's not so bad. That's probably fine. Uh, so we also need to expand our bedrooms, uh, but after that, it's just whatever we want to do. 
So I'm going to take suggestions from the audience on what fun activities to do with our dwarves. I feel like 90% of the time I play this game, I try to build a giant glass pyramid or something stupid. I'll probably build a boat. I like boats. Maybe we'll try to put alligators in it. I mean, why not? Why not? Uh, then we need some more doors. Alright, and then we need to start thinking about a little defense on the surface also. So we want to build some hatch covers. Fully, fully machine automated farm. Yes, that's true. Very little... Do I have to do personally? Uh, apparently I have not completed all my hatch covers. It's still a work in progress. Uh, we're gonna start building some walls, I think, too. I like building walls. Uh, so we'll do, that's fine. What is that, 10 out? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Yeah, why not? Wall. Oh, that's your recommendation. Have a bunch of machines running a farm or something. Um, I mean, the dwarves just like do it themselves. Like I've already automated farming. I just told them to plant plump helmets and I've basically solved, solved world hunger. Uh, can you build aqueducts? I think there are aqueducts. You could just like, uh, you could like, grab a water source so i do need to do that that's one of the things i need to do actually is grab so this river has clean water for me right now i do need to give them clean water so good suggestion <laughs> uh i'll pump some water into the base that'll be fun carefully of course uh, once you start working with liquids you know things tend to get dwarfy Beautiful. And then I'm gonna want to weigh into my fort probably. So how do I tell him not to do that? <laughs> Building mode perhaps. I'm not seeing a way to stop designation of constructions. I know the Necronomicon is in this game, get that. It's not quite that simple. Uh, but if I will build a tavern and there's a chance necromancers visit and you can recruit them to your fort. Uh, and like you could even like resurrect some things and they're not hostile, but the dwarves I don't I don't think they're big fans of being around undead. I think they get upset. Uh, so I'm not figuring out how to cancel this designation, and that's... Oh, here we go. I could just click on it. I'm a genius. I don't know if you guys knew this. Uh, we also want to have a bridge. Do our bridge. Wow, look at this. You don't know how... Oh my gosh, I'm going to keep talking about this. How ridiculous. <laughs> It used to be to do all of these things. Oh, you can even kind of tell which direction the bridge is. That's nice. Uh, rough mudstone bridge, baby. All right, let's start building that. Uh, we're going to need a depot as well, too, to eventually trade. Which I don't know if we should build one yet. That's fine. Let's build one. It'll matter. Where's the depot? Uh, trade depot <laughs> right in front of me. Um, guess I'll do this, and then I want to build some more walls. 
we don't want just anybody coming into our fort. We only want them to have access to our trade depot. Oh. Is there a way to cancel multiple? There's got to be a way to select multiple ones. <laughs> Preemptively attack the goblins. Uh, I can send out expedition forces. I've never, I haven't messed with that too much. And we're gonna put a floodgate here, but I don't, I don't have any floodgates. Uh, rock flood. Yeah, there it is. Did I just spell it wrong before? Oh, I put a space after flood. <laughs> uh, I only want... Make me three rock floodgates. I will need a few. Uh, probably need more blocks? I guess I don't really care what they build my wall out of. I might get a kind of hodgepodge wall here in a second. That'll be pretty fun. Uh, beating zone's finally done. Uh, we have our cool statues. Let's put some of those up. Uh, make our meeting stone look kind of cool or meeting meeting stone meeting room uh, I guess we'll put a door <laughs> why not when in Rome uh, tables so where do you all want to sit I kind of want everyone to sit in the middle Let's do, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't like where I put these tables at all. Uh, let's do like, oh, okay. I kind of like that. That looks neat. I'll do just a plus, and then I'll move them around the room. I need some more. Do I have more coming? I do. Not that many more, though. I can't realize my vision yet. I don't want to go too close to the wall. Have a nice little private. I guess I'll do something like this. It's kind of dumb to have this many chairs the way I'm doing this. I don't even know if... Okay. Okay. I, I'm sorry, everyone. I guess they'll... I don't know if they... I think they. I need a table for each person if they want to eat next to each other. As much as I like whatever it is I'm doing here. Okay. Riveting content, I know. I know everyone. You don't have to t tell me. How many tables we got? <laughs> All right. Need more thrones. We'll work on that. Uh, let's build a new zone. Meeting area. Figure out what to put in each of these. Um, I have an idea. That might be cool. If I put a stockpile. Um, I wanted to take from the other stockpile. So this is my drinks. I need food. <laughs> drinks. Uh, also wanted to take from meals. And then I need to set up prepared meals, drink, and then they should bring uh, some food down here to the meeting hall so they don't have to go far to eat, get their food. 
Uh, now we do want to destroy this wagon. So they start hanging out outside and complaining about being in the rain. Uh, oh, we need a place for our animals. How do we set a pasture? Pen pasture. I guess you guys can hang out up here. Uh, uh, cats can do what they want. Everyone else, stay outside, please. My god, this is going to be an ugly, ugly looking wall. How are we doing on stocks? How many rocks we got? We're going to need to start mining out more. We're like already used up everything we did from the meeting hall. Oh, we need more bedrooms, so perfect. Um, where are other bedrooms? Meeting hall. Need to go deeper. So this can be more general sleeping. Um, How luxurious am I feeling? You could have little baby rooms. Only the original. I guess whoever claims those bedrooms, because I don't think I'm going to go through the trouble of assigning my seven original dwarves to the, the nicer rooms. I only worry about that for the nobles. Uh, did we build more beds yet? Can I see how many stocks? Can I just search for bed? Oh, awesome. Yo, this, this is insane. <laughs> it's so easy to play this game now. Let's see if they start grouping up down here. Okay, they're bringing the animals back up. I was like, "What are they? What are they doing in here? They weren't. They're not allowed in here." <laughs> the only the only person that's doing really well is the guy with no job. I know that feel. All right. Ah, the rock. Crafter. Uh, you know what we badly need? Uh, some wooden bins. Oh. Keep forgetting I need to actually click into the thing. Make some wooden bins. Uh, oh, no, no, I don't care about that. I want several. Several bins. So instead of one item taking up this whole spot you can put a bin and then you can put a bunch of a bunch of crafts in one spot you need some more room i still don't have anybody making the high value craft but got to start thinking about our next project although we got a got a dwarves doing enough stuff <laughs> it's going to be the the ugliest wall i've ever built in my life i'm sorry everyone i don't know why i did this I really don't. I don't have an explanation. I don't have a reasonable answer. It's is quite is quite hideous. Nice. Oh, we need one more hatch cover. Although it is a grim reminder of the winter, hardships to come. The supply caravan from the pointy tongues is a welcome sight. 
their eyes alight with the anticipation of inspecting the splendid products of your industrious craft stores. Take careful stock of your own stores. What these merchants offer may very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow and meaningless death. We can None of us can escape that, though, so there's no worries. Um... I'm not quite ready. I did tell him to cut a bunch of gems. I could encrust some stuff. Really, I should wait. I guess we could do a little bit. So let's have... Encrust finished goods with cut gems. Uh, sure, let's do tw 20 of them. I, don't, I just picked that number for no reason. They should be bringing their caravan over here. Where are they? Oh, diplomacy. It says it right here. I am your liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. Okay. There is much to share. Information added to civilization's world info. Have I done that yet? Where is that? This is just going on the top line here, right? All right, yell at me if anyone sees where where this menu they this, they so speak. Here we go. Wait. Hmm. Feel like I'm striking out here. <laughs> Please show me where the menu is. What is all this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that's how the alert menu worked now. I wasn't even paying attention. That's awesome. So you can go to where you found each of these things. I found platinum. Holy crap. Tetrahedrite, resin opal, you know, all the good stuff. Uh, there is nothing that can... Oh, who's trying to fish? Uh, I need more barrels. I need more seeds. That's where my kitchen didn't get built. Wait, did I? I didn't. I still haven't made more food. We'll resume that. <clears throat> it's a good thing I read these things. Migrants. <laughs> nice. Look at all the stuff I completed. Okay. I still don't see this other menu that they're talking about, though. Oh, well. Uh, make requests for next year. They'll charge you more for these items. Yeah, I know. I want... Uh, what can you give me that's good? Leather... I want some nice, vora <laughs> voracious cave crawler. I don't think we want that. What's a nice kind of leather we can use? You know? Wolf leather? Badger leather? Mongoose leather? Giraffe leather? That sounds exotic. Well, oh, I messed up. I clicked the wrong button. Banop? <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I'm out of here. Uh, giants, giant snail leather. Yeah, what's some of that? 
We want some regular draft echidna leather. <laughs> yeah, we need that. A uh, grizzly bear leather? Sure. All right. I do want some cloth, please. That's, that's all I really want is cloth and leather. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want. Seeds would be nice, too. Really just want pigtail seeds for more cloth. Uh, maybe some picks? Yeah. Sure. Wow. Wow, yeah, way to just jack up the prices on me. Uh, a need for scepters and leather water skins is expected. And if you are to provide some, the caravan will offer 205 and 199 respectively. Alright. Scepters and leather water skins. I have no leather. I could give you... I got some scepters for you, bud. I can make some scepters. Alright. Uh, can someone build this kitchen, please? Oh, they did arrive? I didn't even see them come. Oh, they didn't have a wagon. They just kind of showed up, huh? Did they bring an elephant? Oh, we don't have uh, anyone to uh, do this. Uh, I mean, a broker... Rick? Oh. We have a necromancer already? Where are they? I don't even see- uh, Kogan! What the fuck? They're 153 years old. <laughs> Doing fine. His beat- uh, uh, Yeah. Look, they even like match. Kind of. He's gonna swindle these guys for me. So he doesn't know anybody in the fort. Why do they live really? I could look more about that. <laughs> All right, I guess we have a necromancer. So, I guess things will get dwarfy pretty quick, probably. Um, let's make them our broker, <laughs> I guess. Do they, they have appraiser, right? I don't think they have appraiser. I don't know if they're going to be that good, actually. Asmil might be better. Because <laughs> I won't... Alright, we'll, we'll put Asmil. Kogan, you're just too OP. You can't do this. How do we call him to go to the depot? I don't think I have anything yet. We need to finish building. Are oh, they encrusting it up right now? Uh, do we have our final hatch cover? Oh, I need mechanisms and a you know, just do rock mechanisms. Start building up a little bit. Why are you guys still upset? Uh, broker requested a depot. Can I move? Is there a way to search? Yeah, here we go. Sort by value. Ah, look how 
Look how valuable. 18. What can I see? Why is it just amulets? I gotta like go through each one of these things. Um, I guess they could just take whatever. Sure. Bracelets. Can have all these cool crowns. One thousand. Look at this earring we've made. Everything's like twenty, and it's like this one. One thousand, please. One thousand dwarf dollars. You will provide them for me. We're already rich. That other guy wanted scepters. I'm tempted to... I, I'll make some more scepters for him. It's fine. Oh, I see this button over here. Squad World. Maybe from World I can see. That's the other menu I was looking for before. Alright. I gave him that. <clears throat> I really want to hit Escape because I don't see where else to go. But... Okay, it's moving it. You can see how many items are... Oh, man. We just got another migrant wave. Holy crap. I feel like <laughs> I'm getting migrant waves very quickly. just getting used up somewhere. Looks like maybe they're done. One item. Oh, waiting. One item. That's fine. We don't need that item. You know, I probably shouldn't have brought all this up without looking to see what they had. Because maybe I don't want it. Uh, steel bar. Can we make an anvil out of that? It is an elephant. Uh, I don't know if I can buy it, or they were using it to haul their goods. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like <laughs> I've seen an elephant. Maybe it's not actually an elephant. I don't. It doesn't look like they have any animals for sale. Wait, here we go. No, they have a guinea cock. They offer no no elephant. Is there, like, a good way to go through this menu? Not finding super good way to do it. This is just, like, really fast. Cook. Fish. Plant. Alright, we can get a bunch of good stuff, though. I don't see the animal for sale, though. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> um, we don't need chains. Hello. Hello, guy. My kitty is here in my lap. Uh, I don't think I want the guinea cock. 
contains one item. Uh, I guess this is barrels. Yeah, give me all your, give me all your drinks. Uh, copper battle axe, give me nice. Ooh, a pick. Um, I'll take another pick. I don't know if I need a steel pick, but why not? Uh, you got some cheap clothes. I can't hold down the button here. I really don't like. <laughs> this is the only thing I haven't liked so far. Mitten. You can never have enough mittens. Oh, I can scroll like this. This isn't too bad. Uh, bags would be nice. Bonus when they have stuff in them. I don't know if I need rock nuts, but whatever. I don't gypsum plaster. I don't think I need that. This is a really nice bag. I'm really spending a lot on that bag. Uh, let's see how much money we have, and then we'll probably get some cloth. Can I just mark all? Yeah. Look at how much money we have. Let's get some cloth. Oh, will this not grab all of these? I wanted to grab the whole bin. I think it should. Yeah. Uh, it's already quite a bit. Let's get some leather. Is there anything else we want to grab? Give me the gem. Another anvil could be nice. Probably should give them more profit. There, 420 profit. Is that cool with you? Oh, come on. All right. Um, forget the anvil and the gem. 686? Yeah, baby. All right, we got a bunch of good stuff. Uh, let's... I don't know where that is now. Hopefully they take it all inside. Which, oh, I need to do something with this metallic ore for now. So I have room in the stockpile. Um, let's put a metallic ore pile for here for now. This will be, it's weird that it's stone. We'll put the metal ores there for now. Uh, we really need more bedrooms and I've got no stone. So let's start designating bedrooms. But they're not, just not digging. Are they going to get to it? Uh, build some more doors. All right. Are these guys claiming bedrooms or did I just, I actually have to make them zones, I guess. Now we're going to need more space, which I'm glad I did because I want to think this slightly. Do something like
think about this for two seconds. up all right we'll make it a feature make these nicer rooms the sweets Um, is that enough bedrooms for now? I actually do not know. Uh, this doesn't need so many entrances. Nope. Messed up again. All right, get to work, dummies. Oh, make uh, make me some food. Easy meal, baby. Give me a, a hundred easy meal. Do not stop with the easy meal. Do I have? It brewing drinks too. Is there a way to keep drinks at a hundred? Probably. Let's see. Drink. Set the conditions. So restarts have completed. Checked daily. Restarts. Amount of some item. Here we go. Amount of items is at least. Here we go. Amount of avail. Amount of avail. Okay, no. Amount of drinks. Available is less than, that's what I want. Uh, <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> oh, here we go. So I don't want brew drink 10. I guess it'll just it'll only make ten each day if that's the thing, right? I just want it to stop. So what if I if I change this to a hundred oops. Learning how to play. And then we go to here. I was hoping it would change my suggestions. Restarts if completed. That's good, yeah. Conditions checked daily. 
Um, I guess it'll only do it on that day, I guess. So I don't know. I guess I could do... Yeah, less than 100 drinks is fine. And I guess I'll make the order itself... I don't know. It'll make 20 a day? I guess the only problem is having too much at a time, really. We'll do we'll do 30. Why not? I don't think it really matters. Um, do we build more doors? We're going to need so many doors in beds. 28. We should have enough beds and doors, actually. Let's build a few more doors. Oh, wrong button. Now they did bring down... Somebody did bring down food. I don't know if they did. What are y'all upset about? <coughs> what? Oh, I really should have been ready these things. What is all this? Wait. Is that just like a bug? <laughs> They've got like all the versions of the sprite hidden a little bit. The Kotai is fighting. The ex dwarf Kadol Dumasing are fighting. Wow, I really should have I really should have looked into that. Is everyone fine? Oh, okay, he killed the Kotai. Great job. Uh, gypsum, green jade, we made some bins. We got a million more migrants. This guy became a carpenter, it's raining. Okay, everyone's... They're all canceling stuff. That's fine. I don't care about that. What conflict? You guys are fine, right? That's fine. Complaining about nothing. You got so many plump helmet spawns in here. Is this ever going to get built? We need We need food, team. You understand you have to eat food to survive, right? You understand this. Oh, I'm paused. I was like, why is nothing happening? Did I remove? I did not. Oh, that's ammo. Stone. No, none. Y'all need to move all that stone out of there, please. All those metal, metal pieces need to go. We need some wheelbarrows. <laughs> Everyone is very slow. Oh my gosh, I didn't hit the... Did we finish our wall? Nice. We built a floodgate, right, too? So we also need a lever. So let's do our first lever. Oh, I want to put it in the meeting hall so it's usually easy to get to. Uh, is it on traps? No. Constructions? Uh, team, do you see lever anywhere? Aha! Machines, it's on the machines page. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we need a lever. Or a lever. Don't at me. I will put it right by the door, I guess. Let's build that real quick. Do we ever build that bridge also? Oh, we did. 
We actually need another lever. So let's build another one. Right there. Needs mechanisms. Did I really not? I thought I'd... Okay, they've only built one mechanism. That you gotta give them some time, apparently. Probably should put the bed somewhere, now that I'm thinking about it. So people could at least sleep. And we'll put them here for now. While we're digging out that lair. Uh, wonderful door- oh, I didn't. Wonderful dormitory. <clears throat> the height of luxury. Now, no one complain about not having a place to sleep. You have a perfectly cromulent place to sleep now. Alright. Uh, I guess we finished all our crafts, right? No. We didn't. Uh, so we need hard rock. We need more miners. And I guess that's why, that's what's slowing us down at the moment. So, need to go to my labors. Um, we need some more miners. Is anybody good at this? I guess it would probably get... That just means they're assigned. So is there a way to tell if they're good at this? <laughs> From this page? I guess I like it go to each individual person, but that seems like a lot. I'm just gonna make these peasants be my new miners. Here, peasants. Congratulations, peasants. You've been promoted. All right, did. Oh, I don't have a mechanic either. Well, I have one mechanic at least, I guess. Or I guess they'll just be... Other people will make mechanisms. Look, the dwarves, the little kids are doing some useful shit. I knew there was a reason for the kids. I said, nobody's at the mechanics workshop. Do we have a mechanic? I, don't, I guess that's not a thing anymore. A mechanic isn't a thing. I don't know. I guess stone cutting, maybe the the jobs got kind of mixed together now. So it's not like a bunch of different like stone. I guess they're still engraving and you know, as opposed to the other ones. I'm not quite sure. I wish my miners would get to work though. Uh, we really do need to get that food. So did that ever happen? Okay, they're making food right now. Thank goodness. Uh, do we have any probably should get some more barrels. Uh, how about another 20 barrels? Hopefully we get our mechanisms soon. Build a new lever. No, still, uh, I guess I could probably get the priority to go faster. Do it, baby. Oh, somebody was doing it, literally, right when I clicked that. I, like, yelled at them while they were, like, sitting there doing it. 
Where's my mechanisms? Really need to get going on some new projects, like a military. Are these guys getting any better? Oh, somebody made, or I might have just bought it. Mostly just crap they're building still. Just absolute crap. All right, we got more miners plugging away. I guess I shouldn't place the doors willy nilly. I probably should place them where I've got beds already. That's fine. We just need to wait for the doors to get through some stuff. We're doing a great job. you all like the ambient sounds of the cave. Wow, we already got this whole layer dug out. That was uh, very fast. Very fast indeed. Um, tempted to do another layer almost exactly like that. Is there a way to copy paste? <laughs> I think if I had done it when I was designating, maybe I could have. Um, I will dig out another layer just like that. You do it pretty quick. Easy. Easy bedrooms. Um, we also want to put... So under a 
construction. Is this the bottom layer we had? Oh, it is. Just do it after I finish this. Uh, gonna need many more. I guess we'll just get way more doors. I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> what the? Like the number reset? Did anyone see that? doors, please. Never enough doors. B. F. B. I guess we can remove our dormitory. I still not quite sure how to do multiple beds, because I don't think that designated them. So I don't know if there's an easier way than this at the moment. Which, kind of a pain. Julia was like... Remove construction was a th oh that totally is a thing. It's here. B. No. Man, what menu was it under? No. Cause that's just mining, that's just orders. Maybe you have to mine construction tiles. I'm not sure. Anyone know? <laughs> that's fine, we're almost done doing it like this. All right. Remove our beds real quick and move them. Oh, we have to designate bedrooms also. I think we did all the bedrooms here, yep. B, F, B. Boy, howdy, did we make some bedrooms. Uh, how are we doing on doors? BPR. Uh, let's start, let's make the zones. I do be drawn squares. Draw the square. I draw the square. I draw a square. Uh, do we get them all? <laughs> I 
already quite a bit of a ways on this floor. Our new miners seem a bit slow. I'm sure they'll get the swing of it soon. Uh, probably should look at... Oh, no. I didn't notice this. <laughs> Risen... Re oh, crap. Isn't he a noble? <laughs> Are you sitting somewhere waiting for stuff? Oh, goodness. You trying to claim the... The jewelers? Where are they? Did they claim it? Let me go to my menu. Risen. Rescue. He's in a big, strange mood. Do you tell me what you want? Where are they at? He's waiting on something. It's a crafts dwarf. I don't know where to find the, uh, usually you can tell what they want. Unmet need. What object do you want though? It's a Kraftsdorf. I don't know what... Alright. No, nobody's got these. He hasn't claimed a workshop. We did. That's why... I, I guess maybe we were just standing there when it happened? That must be what that box is. Okay. Are any of these taken? They haven't claimed one yet. Oh no. Incredible work. Oops. <laughs> I missed an entire merchant wave as well, too. Whoops. Um, all right, I really got to deal with this. I'm just not quite certain. Is this all the information I am to receive? Particular, <laughs> peculiarly <laughs> really secretive. Quite so. So... Man, he's got... He's a glass maker? I don't think I have any glass. If he wants to do either of those things, I'm screwed. Alright, I guess we'll see. <laughs> I'll just get a... Let's just build each of these workshops and see if he starts building something. And then maybe we can get the materials they need. Well, if I... Man, that trader really would have saved my ass if I hadn't I just missed them entirely. That's not good. That's not good. Um, Alright, so we got to need... Glass furnace? Is that where you build the glass stuff? I don't think there's like a glass workshop, is there? Pretty sure it's one of these. You probably build glass things at a craft thing, so I don't think he wants that. We might need a potter wheel for him. I don't have 
ever done that. What do we need? Pottery, the kiln? Alright, I'm going to try to bake them, I guess, the kiln. Is anyone going to build this? I don't know if we have a potter. Uh, all right. Is that something I have to tell people specifically? L is, really isn't labor. What's the labor button? Why? I don't know where pottery would be. <laughs> I don't see it in here as a thing. I feel like somebody should build this. I don't want to wait too long, because I don't know how long he's been in that strange mood. I think for a long time. Everybody seems mad. No, I mean, they're like that face. What face is this? Eh? Eh? They're not quite mad. Although they are quite, I mean, they've got like the red things showing up. Let's see why they're so upset. What's wrong? What's wrong, Inga's Albemore? Uh, he is dejected, dwelling upon being cut. They're all just mad about the rain. That's that's all they're ever mad about. They'll fucking get over it. Oh, well, some of these people are sleeping outside and, and on the floor. I, they should be upset for that reason, perhaps. But I set these zones. They got beds they could sleep in. beds being made? Do we not have wood? Oh god. Torf Boyer Necromancer. So Strange Mood, they, uh, they become obsessed with building a certain item, and they'll do nothing until they make that item. Um, usually what happens when you get a Strange Mood... Uh, is they'll claim a a workshop, but he hasn't he hasn't claimed a workshop. Um, so usually that means they I don't have the workshop he wants to claim, but I just built a kiln. So uh, usually it's based on their skills. I didn't realize this guy was a legendary all three of these things. So kiln, I think, for the pottery. He doesn't seem like he's going to claim that, so maybe he wants to do something with wax? I'm not even sure which workshop to build for that. Um... Hmm. Like, I could try a glass furnace, too. And I guess I have the means to collect sand, now that I'm thinking about it. So I could save his ass if he wants to do something out of glass. Claim it. Claim it. Yes. All right. He claimed it. That's what he wanted. All right. Now he should tell me I want some stuff. Did it say he claimed it? Here we go. Is 
Is he just gonna start building it? Okay, now he's got a thing over his head. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. Yes, you click on the actual thing. All right. Pictures of glass, shining bars of metal. Okay. Gonna have to make some metal bars and get them some glass. Uh, I gotta pee real quick. I'll be right back in. So listen to these nice zombie sounds for a second. return i forgot to mention if i don't get them these items in time uh he'll go insane and then either start attacking other people or sudoku so uh i can't remember if there's a chance of them recovering i think there is it's not always game over if you don't get the strange boo but i think they are basically broken forever they'll never be as good as they were even if they survive So we're going to help our friend out here. Um, we don't have the other layers yet. I guess I'm just going to keep doing this in my meeting room because I think it's funny. Are you guys vegan? Yeah, I guess they are vegan. I'm literally sustaining myself only on plump helmet. We just eat mushroom and drink mushroom. It's a simple life. Which reminds me, okay, we're making meals. I was worried maybe we were not. <clears throat> I notice we don't... My brew drink order isn't there anymore. Did I set that up improperly? I must have. I want restarts. Check daily. Restarts if completed. So why did I get rid of it? Did I click a button that actually just got rid of it? Or did it end? It should have... To, to my understanding, it should have kept going. But, um... So, amount available... Is... Less than 100... I want you to brew 30 of these. Oh, I need, okay, so workshop, we're gonna want, we're gonna need a smelter. <laughs> Let's put that there real quick. Uh, what else do I need? I think I need another thing to make him some glass. Another glass furnace. So another glass furnace. That's all he wants, right? All right, so now we need to get some sand. 
Because I think I have to use the glass furnace to tell it tell these guys to collect sand. Uh, no bed. You really don't have enough beds? We still building beds? Yeah, we are. Okay. I do seem a little upset, huh? Uh, wow. I think I need more barrels. That's. <laughs> this poor kid. Sleep on the floor, kid. Alright. We'd like you. Do I not have any fuel? Oh, I need a wood furnace also. Oh my goodness. Really shouldn't have done this all. I'm gonna have to rebuild this all at another layer. I don't know why I did this. Oh well. Maybe the dwarves like all of the industry going on in the meeting hall. Alright, now I should be able to tell you to collect sand. Just keep doing it. Anyone will collect sand. I need a sand zone. Alright. Anybody want to collect some sand for me? I don't know if I have any empty bags. Oh. Did we get any sand? I don't know if I don't... salt Peter blocks. No, we did not get any sand. Uh, how many bag? I know I bought a bunch of bags. They might all be full though. No, we got a bunch of bags. Is when fellow dwarf glass face Florence drops a window pane and 100,390 glass shards land in my simple meal in mushroom brew. It's true. That, that happens. Usually it's like. Florence stubs their third pink, their third toe, and it injures the one of the bones inside of that toe. Uh, we've got a sand zone. I feel like I need, like, a dedicated <laughs> bag zone. Uh, is there a container option here now? It's like a finished good type... It's really not a finished good? <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. Wait, cloth? Am I on coins? I guess you can make coins out of sand. <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. Sandbags, baby, furniture, wow. Oh my god. <clears throat> All right, 
there like an empty bag option? I'm gonna make a Dwarf Fortress plugin that exclusively plays the Tron Legacy soundtrack. That's the only condition I can fiddle in game in. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is what you that is what you need for this game. Um, so I want bags of sandbags. I'm gonna say none. No, wait, all. But you you can't have these. Uh, now I want another stockpile. will be Bug. And then sandbags. Let's put down here for now. What the? Somebody get me some frickin' sand. <laughs> Alright, wood furnace. I need somebody to make charcoal for me. <laughs> Releasing Dwarf Fortress during a major Adderall shortage. What a, what a mistake. some sands? Or is my boy gonna die? Wait! No. Alright, I think maybe I have to tell somebody to be sand person. Sure doesn't look like sand is a is a thing. Is anybody working on it? I don't see anybody working on it. Needs empty bag, okay. Collect sand needs empty bag. Oh, they canceled the order entirely, so it's not there anymore. I forgot, that's how that works. All right, you should have a bag now, big jerks. I bet he canceled it, right? Okay, no, that's fine. Oh, oh okay, I thought that was a dwarven baby. Is anyone gonna give me some sand? I'm serious, everyone. We need some sand. I don't care about you not having plump helmets. I, I guess I'm never gonna get sand. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not seeing any empty bags showing up here. Where are the empty bags? I had a bunch, right, team? Black sandbag, I have one. All right. Where are these? They're in here. These all have seeds in them. I think it's thinking I don't have seeds or thinking. Cause I've got bags turned off. I don't know, maybe it's cause it's already in a bin. All of these have something in it, as far as I can tell. No, wait. Yeah, seeds, 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 seeds. Yeah, I just click on barrels. That's what you do in this game. You click on some barrels, you see what's in the barrel. Alright, 
Well, I have sand, so that's the important part. We can make some glass now for this guy. I don't know what kind of glass he wants. He must want raw green glass? Or I can make blocks. Um, I have fuel. Didn't no one make charcoal for me? I've got all the coal. Do you just not have access to the to the coal? Is that what you're complaining about? Do I have a I have coal in the stockpiles here. Do you want wood? And we're completely out of wood? Oh, oh. Alright. <laughs> Get some fuel. Oh, welcome back. Uh, we've gotten some things going. Our population's grown quite a bit. Uh, we have a strange mood we're trying to deal with right now. Uh, they wanted a glass furnace, so I built that, but they didn't have any other glass. I don't think I have any glass anyway. I'm trying to make some now. But I just realized this just goes... So like, I don't know if they want a block or what they want really. Can make some raw green glass. I guess that's what I'll do. Because otherwise he could just take the sand. We have some sand he could take, but he might not take it because we don't have a metal bar yet. So we'll hold up on that actually. And let's make the bar first, which we just need some wood. <laughs> so hopefully I'm a woodcutter gets out there right quick. There they go. As soon as that's down, we should be able. All right, so we got some wood. Is this not fuel? I guess maybe the wood already got claimed. I have coal and I have wood, so I don't understand I can't smelt a bar, because I have... Oh, do I not have anything I could smith? I thought I had some metallic ore. What do I have? Tetrahedrite. That should work, right? Yeah, I can make like a copper or silver bar, right? I think maybe the fuel must be in transit. And maybe already gotten claimed to be used as like a carpenter bench or something. All right, we got some wood coming. All right, we definitely have wood available now. There's no way you can complain with me now, game. I knew it was going to. Tetra, yeah. Why are you telling me it requires fuel? I know that. Use the fuel I have. Hmm. Truly a mystery. Really think I have all the requisite pieces here. Let's wait slightly longer for more wood to show up. Uh, am I just this, this dumb?
Hmm. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I've made. That's where I made the coal wood furnace right here. Maybe it's just complaining because I don't have like a dedicated stockpile. That's common, right? I thought you could use directly use wood, but perhaps I'm mistaken there. It's been a, it's been a minute. All right, so what we'll do? Let's try. Messing with the coal. Oh. Coal. Didn't I search coal? I guess you have to click on the correct thing. All right. Coal. Rock and stone. That's true. Uh, this, I'm going to swap this to a coal. This only uses coal now. All right. Can I? Are you going to bring some coal down? Do I have another thing that's taking coal? I probably do. Yeah, I have these stockpiles, actually. This is stone stockpile. Oh, I've got bitumous coal. I have to process it? No. Oh no, I, I'm just too dumb. I'll figure it out. Um, going I guess the only coal we have is this okay so that's that's our problem actually I'm just very silly <clears throat> let's make a little coal because I didn't have wood before I didn't realize I completely ran out of wood Still no fuel. There we go. You just stash some fuel, I think. Kid, get out of the way. Kid, get out of the way. Can't look at my bin. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. Uh, so... Wow, we got native platinum as well, too. Let's see if we can put, make them use platinum. on the strange mood and then I think we want to make some raw glass hopefully in time for him not to die all right is he gonna go grab it Woodcutter. Made some doors and barrels. Uh, how many? How much food do we have? We have to make sure we're not. We got plenty of drinks, actually. We don't need to look at that. Do we have the bar yet? How do you get good? <laughs> we have platinum bars. Does he not care about the platinum bars? I don't. He doesn't want platinum. Uh, what other stuff do we have? Does we try a tetrahedrite? Magnetite? It's kind of shiny, I guess. 
We'll just we'll just go down the list here. See if they find a bar they like. You know, is it safe uh, to eat uh, your meals next to a wood furnace where you're making we're making coal? That's probably safe, right? It's probably safe to do it in an enclosed room too. Also, I assume. Uh, he's still not biting. Maybe he needs the glass too. raw green glass and I'll try to make a green glass block oh he made a masterpiece wooden bed our strange mood dwarf still has not moved are they doing the Lenny face is that what's happening is anyone else seeing this like Lenny eyes. <gasps> He's on the move. Did he start his construction? You still know. Pictures of glass. He took the raw green glass. So I still just don't have the metal he wants. Is there bars just chilling here do I have a bar pile let me put a bar pile right next to him that could be the problem All right, metal bars um, and then we'll go turn off the other all-purpose stockpile See if that helps. A, look at the juicy bar. Look. You want that juicy bar? Look, there's platinum right there. You dork. Yeah, they're all dork. They're all drunk. Uh, well, you need some more bins. It seems, or they haven't brought them down yet. Uh, we're going to have to look for new metal to save our boy, I think. Is there any metal we have in mind? Do you have more magnetite? Have we gotten magnetite bars yet? I think we have. He's just not a fan. He's just not into the bar. The bars we have provided for them. Uh, what are these animals doing in here? Yo, wait, we got a duck? They can go where they want. Ah, uh, look at him. Starting to lose hope here. Are we not going to bring any bins over for us? Can I designate how many bins? Here we go. Six bins. I should be able to put... Okay, it's putting a bin in there now. All right, well, we still... <sighs> Maybe he wants more raw green glass? Hmm. 
Maybe they need more sand? I don't think so. Do you want more glass, my dude? Is that what you want? He did. <laughs> he bidding key commands instead of Let's make the green a glass. Nice. Here we go. Doing some more raw green glass. Maybe the ugliest artifact ever. If we ever get it completed here. All right, he did take the green glass. And now he took a bar. Right? Why don't you take the billion bar? I should have only had this stupid <laughs> platinum near him. Did he start it? Yahoo! We did it, team. Risen Raskarath has begun a mysterious construction. All right. That was harrowing, I have to say. All right, what we do need is a second workshop layer for our metalworks. Uh, I haven't built it yet. Um, I got all the ingredients for uh, Risen, so he just started his uh, mysterious construction. He's gonna, it's gonna be out of raw green glass and billion bars. So that should be cool. I'm gonna start digging out another workshop layer. This will be for metal. Uh, we need to finish. I think I built enough doors and beds. So we should be able to... F so can dwarves get drunk? Uh, yeah, they get drunk, but they... Uh, they can drink more than, like, humans can. And it also doesn't really affect them quite the same way. Like, uh, dwarves can sustain themselves on, like, just booze for a long time. Uh, but I think it's still over in vibe. Uh, but I think it's also more... I guess you can make me, but I also think the beer, at least in my head canon, so they're not just sloshed all the time, it's more like pretty low alcohol content. And you just drink it all the time because it's easy to keep. Has a lot of calories. Uh, I think we did all these zones. I want to simulate the downfall of society once you introduce alcohol. <laughs> I have quite a bit of alcohol. They need it, actually. Dwarves die without. If they. Oh, oh I forgot. I still don't have clean water for anyone. So you actually don't need water for drinking. Not an essential. Uh, ingredient for dwarves. They need booze. Uh, but you do need clean water for bathing and for like cleaning wounds and stuff. So we are going to get a well. Uh, sick dwarves need water. Although maybe you can sustain them on booze. But we do need to give them some. Yeah, 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 exactly. Sports ball is. Yeah, beer is like the nutrient. <laughs> We always need more doors. Uh, let's give us 20 more doors. And I doubt we have enough beds, actually. Probably gonna need some more of those. Oh, 
Oh, wait. <laughs> I need to accept. Wait a second. Did I do that on this, too, and make this all one big bedroom? Oh my gosh, I did! That's why all my dwarves are pissed off and not being able to sleep. Kib Asmale has free reign to every bed in this entire lair. <laughs> oh, so there is a multi. How do I do that? Multi. much more tedious with a mouse than it is with a keyboard. Go figure. Oh, here we go. Select a rectangle bedrooms. Okay, so maybe this should work. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can do that. Uh, oops. I was like, there's got to be a better way. Guess they share these walls? I don't think that should be a problem. I don't know. Communist walls. Uh... Ah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I guess I have to have the bed actually designated before it'll let me do it this way. But that's convenient. Oh, I, I can just select... Ah. Actually pretty good. Okay, maybe they'll be a little less pissed off now that they can have bedrooms. So that one guy was like taunting every other dwarf in the colony. He's like, hey, hey, I claimed all the bedrooms. I need more beds. <laughs> you shouldn't need that many beds. We only have 20. I guess we can start. We can prepare for the next migrant wave. We need some more wood. Let's just get everything over here. Uh, the sound effect actually scared me a little bit. Risen Raskarath, the Crestorf has created a Musa Musar Bactus, a green grass, <laughs> green grass. <laughs> Sorry, team, I can't talk anymore. A green glass goblet. He claims it as a personal treasure. Of course he does. How could you not? Let's give him a place to put it. Where is his bedroom? Well done, Risen Raskarath. I shall name you Knowing Shattered. That was very satisfying. Knowing Shattered. Does he have it on him? Blood. Is that what that is? Is it here on the... There it is. Musk... Musk... Bectus. This is a green grass, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it team, a green glass goblet. 
All craft dwarf is of the highest quality. It is decorated with square cut green glass gems and encircled with bands of round, brilliant cut green glass gems. <laughs> this object menaces with spikes of billion. On the item is an image of a jackal in green glass. I did it finally on that last one. So it's, it's a green glass goblet decorated with green glass gems and a green glass jackal and then it's got spikes of billion uh it probably could be more exciting but it's ours it's our very first artifact um i can see his rooms right oh he doesn't have a bedroom yet um is he a noble no let's give him a good bedroom You can have this one. Zone. Uh, owned. Oh, right. I also made the same mistake here that I made on the other one. I guess these are right. But this is just one big zone also. <laughs> uh, bedroom. Multi. Well, pretty easy now that I know how to do that. Uh, so did anybody claim this stuff? I don't look like it. All right, I'm gonna give give one to them. I need to make sure they're auto claiming it. Oh yeah, other people are claiming stuff. It looks like okay. So. Risen Rescarath. Uh If we give him like a cabinet, will he like put his goblet on it? I think I have to have a zone if to make him do that. Display. Here we go. So I put a display. Use display object. Make it a workshop first. No access to display object. Great. I don't know if that's how you can do it anyway. I don't think you can for some reason. Uh, let's make a display case. We'll see. Well, I bet they're all glad to have bedrooms. Oh, it's early winter. How are we doing on plenty of food, drinks? I mean, honestly, I think even this <laughs> farm plot could sustain us. We could build a bigger one. Uh, we're going to get rid of these. <laughs> we get our meeting area. So I'll, if anyone's just joining us here, I built all of these things here because... Somebody got a strange mood for a, uh, a workshop I didn't have, so I I just built everything here in a panic. Uh, they all want some logs. I feel like... I got people doing... Oh, I need to designate more. That's one of the ones you have to do personally. So we only have one woodcutter. Uh, so you can be woodcutter. You can be woodcutter. Oh, I just realized. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are my most competent miners now. Great. Oh, I never linked up my bridges and stuff. We got distracted. Um, let's do that. keep going in the wrong menu and let's link this lever oh click the building okay to this uh, 
And then I want to build a floodgate. Well, uh, my cats have been busy killing hamsters, it seems. Right, could, could process the hamster meat and give us some hamsters to eat if we really wanted to. Do I still have a standing and crust goods order? Why is that still 20? It's like it never ends. Oh, I guess I did have a brew drink order. Okay, I guess I just created that one for now, which would, that's what I thought, how I thought it worked. This is coming together. I'm gonna need a lot more wood. Should designate more wood chop. Oh, everyone's stuck at the moment. Okay. Let's fix that. Where is my meeting hall? There it is. And then pole giver. So it should link up to that floodgate and then pull it. So we can open and close this portion. So we can lock our fortress in a hurry if we need to. And then we can leave the, so we can also open and close the bridge, uh, but a lot less safe to open and close a bridge because like dwarfs might be going over it or whatever. <laughs> Uh, but this way also we can leave the bridge open and leave the trade depot and let other people come in and use the trade depot while still being safe from anything else that might want to hurt us. Finished with this layer, so let's go ahead and build, move those things. So I want to put wood furnaces here. Um, and then I want this to be another wood stockpile. Oops. Wood. Uh, this is going to be a... I guess I want to put fuel... I guess we put right there. And the rest of these can be metal ore. Oops. Need to I keep forgetting to do accept. And then we'll do metal ore right here. Then we're going to need a bar pile over here. And then we'll do a few different stockpiles over here for our metal goods. Okay. And then we want to build smelters. Right here. Um, and then we're not going to be able to build everything we want over here, but we can do Metalsmith. I don't know how many anvils we have. I think maybe just the one. Um, I think I'll set up a sand operation upstairs, I guess, too. So do we need anything besides the metalsmith? I guess that's all we need. Yeah, 
Yeah, we only have the one anvil though. All right, so let's set up these. So this is going to be my metal bars. I guess blocks too. Only thing I want in here is coal. goods metal uh, yes the only one exceptional and masterwork there all right here we go fuel metal ore Another wood pile. This is good, excellent metal stuff. This is this a storage area? So it's going to be storage area slash uh, workshop area. So I've got this workshop. This is for all my stone crafting. Uh, so this one's going to be for uh, metal, anything metal. So armor. And then maybe some other stuff. Finished, I guess, metal goods. So this is actually needs to be not just finished goods. Uh, I need weapons. Uh, I guess metal weapons. I don't know why I'm separating these. I don't really have to do this. But I'm doing it. And then armor. Uh, I guess. Oh. All. All. No. And then armor. I want all. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I did this. So many of them. All right, maybe I could do it quick. It'll be like a speed run now. Uh, weapons. Finished goods. Are we doing this wrong on all of these? No, I did it right. One more to go. <laughs> I do be clicking. Uh, I think this is entirely unnecessary, what I'm doing, if you were wondering. Uh, it does make some sense to do it on finished goods. So they're closer to the gem stockpile when they're like picking out pieces to put gems onto. Which I guess this is the theory I'm going to do, too. I might encrust my good stuff with gems and stuff, I suppose. Alright. Which I guess I should put some jewelers here, too. <coughs> uh, man, games where there's a option to pause Gilly, yeah. Pause all the time. So I just separated it out. So I've got, now I've got three stockpiles. I'll show you. Uh, 
Uh, so like, well, the setup on here is I've got high value crafts. So on each one of these, I have finished goods, but I, they only put, oh. Well, they don't if I don't set it up right. Uh, they're going to put all of the exceptional and masterworks on my highest quality goods here. So then when these workshops, which are my jeweler's workshops, they're trying to encrust items with gems, they'll grab the items that are closest, which should be the highest quality items. So I'll have my highest quality weapons here now, or whatever goods I make out of metal right here. Um, and I guess I'm going to encrust them with stuff, so I should put jeweler's stations here too. Because I don't know, I guess I should have encrusted armor and weapons. That's pretty cool. means I probably need to, I need to shrink this, which I can't figure out how to shrink. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, never mind. I just got rid of it. All right. Uh, oop, still didn't create that stockpile. Oop, still didn't create that stockpile. All right. Wood. And then we can create one more. Oh, we need two different stockpiles, actually. And then we want gems. Just one cut gems, actually. <laughs> Great. Now, oh, welcome back. Is it snowing outside? like to see that. I was having a lot of trouble with my graphics card. Just going to black also. And it turned out to be a loose power cable connecting it. Uh, not. <clears throat> yeah, it was just whatever the supply was going into it. I got like random crashes until I... I don't know, I made sure it was snugly plugged in. I don't know if it's your issue, but that was an issue I had. Just recently. Um, all right. So that's another layer, and we can get rid of this. Oh, I don't need to do glass furnace. Blow this away and this one away. Don't. We've got smelters now on the other floor. We're gonna have to do. So they're gonna do glass furnace next, I guess. I guess I'll do a pottery place too. Yeah, they're worth a shot anyway. Did we build, ever build any more tables? Looks like it. Let's build some more. Uh, I guess we'll do 20. Same amount of rock thrones. We'll get that going. Uh, let's go think about why I don't have enough drinks and food. How 
many meals do I have? Do I not have any? Here we go, prepared meals. I have so many. Oh, they've been making crap. They've probably been making biscuits out of my frickin' plump helmets. Or out of my wine? Or is that restricted by default? It probably is. We have no plants. 55 prepared meals. We need another food source, really. Really, we should just start another plot, I guess. Uh, we don't need this anymore. And they should move that metal ore down, which is good. And we could do. What else can we eat? Maybe we'll do another farm plot. Really, this is where we need to set up our glass. Um, I guess we're not that low on drinks. Man, are they... Everyone's just drinking wine. We have beer, right? Why can't I find it? Stout? Drinks. Here we go. Ale. So we got ale, rum. Okay, so rum and ale. I think we're fine. That'll mostly work itself out, hopefully. Uh, we should get going on burning. Let's make some coal. I don't know. Like, a hundred? The start? Why not? We'll burn some. We need to get rid of some of these. Uh, are you all kind of upset still? No. I was near to a door. It pleases me. I have improved my organization. That was satisfying. Wow. Oh, where is add to your spread city? I cannot give in this. Okay. I thought maybe we were missing a dwarf. Maybe they just missed somebody back home. A lot of you have nothing to do, huh? I should probably find some work for y'all. I feel like... Yeah, I guess I don't have all that much for them to do. Why is nobody making a display case, though? Where do you make a display case? I don't see him building one anywhere. Carpenter shop. That's where I would have thought, too. Have they made it to that labor yet? It's totally checked, yeah. Maybe I just don't have that many carpenters. Not a thing. <laughs> there is carpenter. I guess they're all woodcutting at the moment. I feel like one of the workshops should at least have it queued up. Maybe I'll just try. Oh, it requires window. Okay. Let's make a window. Aha. We need glass.
glass. Do we have... We can make some glass. built my other stuff. I don't know if we have any sand, so we gotta get going on. Workshop, furnace, glass furnace. I guess we'll put it here. Whatever. Sandbags. Bags. Oh, I have to... Gosh darn it. This is why this didn't work last time. Uh, it could be... Whatever material. It doesn't matter. We need some blocks, I feel like. See people walking around like that. Carrying heavy boulders. We'll do that for a bit, too. I should think we got enough rocks. How are we finishing up down here? Um, any more doors to place? I wow, finally have enough doors. Put some beds. Maybe, maybe that's enough bedrooms for a little bit, hopefully. Uh, then we'll do some bedrooms. Or actually designate them. It's kind of hard to see the that white outline. Never enough bedrooms. I don't know what I set the pop to. I didn't change any of the little default settings, so it's maybe 50 or 100 doors. Maybe it's 80 is the default maximum population size. I feel like I need, I wanted like a sound for alerts. I don't know if I'm not hearing it. I think I want one. <laughs> Cancel this needs window, needs window, make green glass window, needs sand bearing item. Okay, that's what I thought. So I need to tell him to get some sand. And in fact, oh man, the new orders is going to be great for sand. Now I could just tell him to keep getting sand daily. If we go into the setting. Check daily. Uh, available is less than six. Oh, okay, sand bag. There's no sandbag in here. Hmm. <laughs> bags. I can't. I don't know if there's a way to say sandbags. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, 
I wonder if I can just tell it daily. Just collect sand ten times. It'll just keep collecting sand, I guess, every day up to ten. If I have a condition that's like that. Um, so let's make the condition impossible. <laughs> what is... Okay, it's not good. Never be satisfied. So they should come get some sand now. Well, that's my understanding. Oh, like, okay, are we... Does somebody have, like, a giant drink barrel? Or are we really at 12 drinks? Oh. Alright. Stop preparing easy meals for a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened to all our drinks? We made a green glass window. Exciting. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe a merchant clan will save us? Maybe they'll go just go drink water like a bunch of chumps? I feel like there's... I had, like, way more drinks than that. Then it was just gone. Just realized I did the, the doors slightly differently on this floor. Except for this side, where I could have them dance. Oh, they need booze to live, though. Um, hmm. Well, I hope some plump helmets come soon. I mean, this is a sign to plant war right now. All right, we'll put another plot over here of some. Oh, we're out of drinks officially. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, we kind of need some plump helmets to grow. Really not good. But they're going to start getting upset pretty quick. Oh, we made a display case, finally. That was one of our goals here. <laughs> this is more important than having people have stuff to drink. Uh, display. Now, will he automatically put his cool thing on there? Do I get to pick? Assign new display item. Here we go. So it should be a cup. Goblet. Goblet. Masarbaktus. Will they put it there? That would be fucking so sweet if they put it on there. Look at him taking a nap. It's there. <gasps> can we see it on there? Oh, we can! That's so sick! I, I went the wrong way. Look at that! Uh, look at just a cozy dwarf sleeping with his green goblet. Very cool. It's kind of dumb that I've got a green glass goblet on the green glass table. But you know. What is he doing in here?
finish building that. I need to start making some metal bars and stuff. Um, really do need some drinks. I guess it's because our soil conditions are terrible. Because we're <laughs> growing mushrooms in sand. Uh, I guess we don't have any fertilizer. That might not be a bad thing to get. Really need some. Really need some drinks. Oh, there's a plump helmet. Come on, come on, Brewer, get to work. I, w I thought he was about to eat a plump helmet. Uh, yeah, I was like, brew drink. Are you gonna brew the drinks? Yes. <laughs> That beer is going to be gone so fast. I don't know why I made this farm plot so small. I should have just made it. I guess I was thinking I was going to do glass. Whatever, we'll just build another one. Who cares? Well, I'll tell you what. Unfortunately, <laughs> I know you just got back. Kind of suit sports baller. I'm going. I've been going four hours and twenty minutes. It seems. And I need to eat some food, do some other stuff. I think what I might do is play this game. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> I might keep playing this map offline, and then maybe have something more exciting to show. But I guess you got uh, the beginning of this fort here. Uh, Steam release seems great. Definitely getting me back into Dwarf Fortress in a big way. Yeah, kind of, kind of small little guy. But you know, we're we're building. We're gonna we'll build some cool stuff soon. Anyways, I really appreciate you hanging out and interacting with me. Hope you have a nice night day. Whatever time it is, I'll see you next time.